That's a lot of caterpillars. Seeing a caterpillar may be exciting for young children, but this year it's a sign of an unwanted invasion. It's very, very sad to see trees being decimated and some of them won't be returning. People across Ontario and parts of Quebec have been scrambling to protect their trees from an outbreak of the LDD moth, short for Lymantria disper disper. Commonly known as the gypsy moth, that term is now considered pejorative. Joel Harrison Off, a Toronto Forest Health Inspector, has been watching the caterpillar spread. You're seeing almost completely stripped uh, bare oak trees, especially here in High Park. Um, the caterpillars have almost completely uh, fed on all the leaves. The infestations pop up roughly every decade and last for four to five years. The stress the caterpillars put on trees as they eat their leaves makes them more vulnerable to drought conditions, other pests and more. It's more or less that they're opening a door where the other diseases can come in and hurt them. The worry for forestry experts is that with climate change, the outbreaks of this caterpillar will last longer and make it harder for trees to recover. Usually, most of the caterpillars die from a virus or fungus that ends their outbreaks. But Harrison Off says drier and warmer springs caused by climate change can prevent that virus from forming. He cautions that we won't be able to get rid of the LDD moth. It's going to be a concern as we move into the future, especially in areas like High Park where we're going to see oak decline. Last year, the caterpillars defoliated 580,000 hectares of land in Ontario, an area the size of Prince Edward Island, and they could eat through even more this year. And while many of those trees will recover, the caterpillars are warning of the dangers Canada's forests face from pests and climate change. Inayat Singh, CBC News, Toronto.